What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Open Door Creative. Today we're going to mess with my favorite tool in Illustrator that is guaranteed, guaranteed to elevate your artwork. Without further ado, meet the blend tool. So here's a recent poster I did for the Audi TTRS. Now I was cool with the macro shot and the overall composition, but when I was finishing the project I felt like something was missing. So I added repeating line work to the car's highlights to add a little stylistic touch to the piece. I did this using the blend tool. I see a lot of junior designers who are trying to get this effect by creating a line, copying it a million times, and evenly aligning them. It's way simpler than that. And to those designers I say, Work smarter, not harder. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is make a line. You're gonna copy that line across your artboard. You're gonna click W or the little shape motion thingy in your tool panel. And you're gonna click the top of the line segment and the top of the other line segment. And that starts your blend. You're gonna go to object, blend, blend options. So the blend tool is very multi-dimensional. Um, you can blend by color, you can blend by steps, or by distance. Um, today we're going to do steps because, I don't know, it's my favorite. Click preview, and let's do 50 step. So that'll get you 48 lines between your two lines. And then you click OK, and boom, you have your blend. If you haven't used this tool before, I hope your mind is pretty blown right now. To create my poster, I created a blend and then masked it into shapes. To do that, you're going to get a shape, or if you want to draw it out with the pen tool, and you're going to create it over top of your blend. Now if you put it on the bottom, you're not going to get the same effect, so be very careful on that. It doesn't have to be solid, but I'm just going to do that to show. You're going to make sure both are selected, you're going to control or right click, and go to make clipping mask. That'll contain your blend within a shape which is pretty much what I did on this poster. So if you see, these are just a bunch of shapes. But wait, there's more. You can also blend between two shapes. Say you wanted a circle to turn into, I don't know, a star for some reason. Just draw those two things, click your blend tool on each shape, and it'll make all the in-between shapes. Also, if you wanted to change the color, use your direct select tool, Select one of those shapes, and let's change the color to orange. And then you'll get a nice gradient from one color to the next. So it blends both shape and color. So something I do a lot on projects is when you're trying to create a gradient color scheme, but you only want like, I don't know, three steps of color, I always create a little palette for myself. So I'll take one of the squares, Make it the other color, blend that sucker, and then go to how many different color choices I would like. So we're going to go with just four. So this gives me the in-between colors, and that way when I'm working on something, I have a nice even palette. So yeah, super simple tutorial. Try it, use it, it's sick. And as always, click the sub button below, maybe that little hitchhiker sign in the corner. Tune in next week where we'll take a drive with art director Ryan Glenn. And I'll see you later.